My name is Don Morgan. I operate an amateur radio station. My call letters are AB3BO. And this is a follow-up presentation on the display repair for an ICOM IC-207H, which is a VHF UHF ham radio. On my first repair of the display for the ICOM 207, I used incandescent light bulbs. Unfortunately, those light bulbs didn't last more than a year. This is what the display looks like when the bulbs are burnt out. Instead of using incandescent light bulbs in the second repair, I switched to LEDs. This is an image of the LED that I used in the repair. I chose this LED because it is rated for 12 volts DC. The LED has a built-in 1K ohm resistor. LEDs can come in various colors like amber and red and so forth. This happens to be a white LED. I used the R300 TW4D LEDs in this repair. I got these from the main vendor. They're 12 volt LEDs, they're three millimeters, and again, they are white LEDs. I paid a bit of a steep price, in my opinion, for these LEDs. They came in a package of 15 and they were $27. That included shipping. After acquiring these LEDs, I found a little bit better deal on Amazon. You can get R500 TW4D LEDs. They come in a package of 10 and are about $14. In order to get these LEDs mounted on the control or display board correctly, I needed to make sure I knew which was the cathode and which was the anode lead on the LED. I used a digital multimeter on the ohm scale and connected the multimeter to the leads on the LED. When the LED lit up, I then was able to determine which one was the cathode, which was the anode lead. So I just took a black magic marker and marked the tip of the lead on each of the LEDs that was the cathode. As it turns out, the bottom lead in the image, or the shorter lead, is the cathode lead of the LED. This is an image of the DS1 section of the control or display board, the ICOM 207. The anode lead of the LED is going to connect into the hot pad on the DS1 side of the board, and the cathode lead of the LED is going to connect to the ground side. Here is an image of the DS2 side of the control or display board. This is an image of one of the LEDs mounted on the control or display board. Here is the second LED mounted on the control or display board. There's one issue that I had with the mounting of these LEDs. I actually had to reheat the connections to the LEDs and pull the LEDs right up close against the circuit card on each side. This is because there's a white plastic piece that fits over the top of the LEDs, and that white plastic piece has to fit snug against the circuit card. So again, it's not shown in this image, but I had to take the LEDs, reheat the solder connections, and pull the LEDs up close against the circuit card. This is how the display looks when the radio is working properly. Here are three links for more information on the repair of the display for the ICOM 207H. This first link contains a page post on the original display repair. The second link contains a part two display repair post that corresponds with this video. The third link contains the original display video. If you have any questions related to the display repair on the ICOM IC207H, leave me questions in the comments below, or you can send me an email at my call sign at ARRL.com.